Welcome back everyone to the BD1P random character streak. Today is going to be a normal character run for win number 173 here, hopefully. Uh, today's question of the day is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below, in all of your schooling, from elementary school to college to undergrad, to whatever, what was your favorite class you took and why? There's a reason for this question. I want to talk about some college stuff today. Uh... Ooh, double Lilith back-to-back -back action from Tainted to Normal. I like this character. It's going to be... Oh, my God. Oh, we had two Eden's Blessings last run. Technically. Because our game crashed on that floor. Oh, so we got two Eden's Blessings there. Very interesting. Okay, well, your seed is going to be XNT62TFC. And honestly, out of all the items we could have gotten, these the, like Buddy in a Box is one of the best for this character's start. But uh, I just wanted to talk a bit today. Because it is my second time recording today. This is like my fourth hour of Isaac consecutively. Um, but last night, I was helping my girlfriend register for her college, like, you know, classes for this semester. And um, I was just thinking to myself, like, why do they make registration so complicated? I guarantee you, one of the main reasons people, like, either drop out or decide not to go to college is because registering for a semester for your, like, your first time going there is hectic as hell. Like, there's so much you have to do. TCIs, like, you know, entry exams. You have to go onto these, like, janky-ass websites and try to make your schedule by yourself because of, you know, the, the measles outbreak we have going on right now in the world. Like, it's ridiculous how you're expected to, outside of high school right away, to just know what kind of classes you want to take, how you should take them, and uh, just all of that kind of complicated college stuff. And what, what really got me is how much emphasis they put on, like, getting ready for college when you're um, in high school. And then not a single time was I ever taught, like, how to register and how to know what to do. And even my, my college counselor was, like, awful. Like, she did not guide me through any of that process at all. And it kind of just made the whole applying for college process a, a, a bit hard to do. And honestly, uh, distractingly, like, difficult to the point where I was kind of like, you know what? I don't even want to go to college anymore. This is, oh, different buddy in a box. Interesting. Uh, because it was just that, like, much to do. It was kind of kind of ridiculous. And plus, there's, so this is what also really got me yesterday. During Desi's, like, you know, uh, testing phase for it, they had her take this test that was essentially testing your ability. Uh, we have two red hearts. Oh, we cleared our curse. Nice. That was at least good for us. And we'll go even deeper here. Okay. I do kind of want to just go for more hearts, uh, more money, angel items, etc., etc. Any of those are nice. We can now actually afford to buy a red heart here for that confessional back there. What do you got for me? But they had to take this test that was essentially testing how internet and, and tech savvy you are. Because a lot of classes these days are online. And that, that makes sense. But the test was graded. And we didn't think it was going to matter whether she, like, you know, passed with flying colors or, like, you know, failed some stuff. They also tested her speed to type and stuff like that and graded that. Now, because she didn't do exceptional because we weren't taking it super serious, they literally asked her, what is an emoticon? Like, that was one of their questions. Oh, that's okay. It's good for a pill. And... It, of course, that's a fucking, like, joke question. Nobody needs to know what an emoticon is when they're going into fucking college, right? It's not a big deal. Uh, and it, typing speed as well is not something everybody is interested in. And she's going to a tech college, which is like... Imagine if you were trying to apply to a tech college and they were like, How fast can you write? There we go. That's what I wanted to see. If you can't write this fast, you can't go to college here. Because she can only type pretty slowly, they failed her that part of her exam and she couldn't finish her class registration until today and yesterday was the last day for final registration which is just absurd like that's that's ridiculous right to, to be like you type too slow to go to this college come back tomorrow when it's already closed like what the fuck that's ridiculous and and the other thing too is that and i think everybody who's gone to college can speak to this because this is it happened at my college it happened at uh, some of my, my peers and my friends' colleges, any of... I can't even do anything there. Uh, any of my... my Wow, okay. That was uh, really bad for us. Um, any website you go on to, to register for classes or to do schoolwork, is always pretty fucking janky, right? 
We opened that for free, though, at least. And there is Sharp Q. We could go to Mother for free this round if we really felt like it. But I don't want to give up Box of Friends just for one door access. Um, like, everybody knows that these websites they use for class registration and, and turning in homework, they, they can be pretty janky. It's fair to say, I think. So why keep using them? If you're going to put this big emphasis on, like, how important college is, and you're not going to, like, make sure your own software and hardware is able to, you know, accurate, like, be accurate for everybody who's using it and, and function properly, then what's the fucking point? Like, honestly, the amount of times I've heard, like, I've, I had to email my counselor my start of my second college semester and, uh, like, about the website not properly allowing me to sign up for some of my classes. And her response is, oh, yeah, you know, the one we use is a little bit weird and janky. And I'm like, okay, then why use it? This is, like, somebody's future. I heard all my life, all of high school, that, like, college is the most important thing you'll ever do with your schooling. And it's not even taken seriously to the companies that are, you know, or I guess the universities that are owning these colleges. Like, why not? If, it, if it's that important on an individual level for me to go to college, then why make it this super complicated and rigid, like, you know, process that is really hard to follow and, quite frankly, uh, is, is not that simple. It just, it doesn't make any sense to me personally. I really don't understand the whole, uh, mindset behind that. And I could just be entirely wrong here. I mean, again, I don't know. Um, I could just be talking out of my ass, but in my, you know, one and a half college semesters and Desi's, you know, start of hers, I've just noticed that it's, it's really just to me seems like a bit of a cash grab. Like I know college is, is supposed to be prices. You can pay your professors and your researchers and your teachers and your programs more, but God damn. Sometimes I'm kind of just like, this does not need to be, like, this much. Yo, conjoined already. That's really... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, the incubus you have does not count towards conjoined. Correct. One more and we get it, though, hopefully, here. So don't, don't cut off all hope yet. And the golden key allows us to access our item room for free this floor as well. Which is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But again, I don't know. I could just be entirely wrong here. Like, I might just be talking out of my ass, but... If you're going to stress to me as a kid that, like, college is super important, why make the process of actually going to college, and not, not even going there, but just signing up to college, so ridiculous. It's just, oh, that's real good. Real good early start here. That's just really uh, complicated for me. I, I, I don't get it. I Honestly, I, I don't understand it. But, um, you know, that's the price you pay for higher education, I guess, is you got to go through all the, the right channels and, and you know, Suck the right dicks to get there, so, you know, I'm not gonna just com complain about it endlessly. Oh, cool. Speaking of complaining, <laughs> it's fine, whatever. We already have eight items on floor two. We're gonna, we're gonna be okay. And we will also go to the downpour here for sure. And get that extra little bit of a double item room going on. Hopefully for a really early conjoined, that would be super cool to see with this character. We have a lot of great stuff happening. Because when we get conjoined and we use Buddy in a Box, or not Buddy in a Box, Box of Friends... Uh, we're going to have, like, six tiers coming out of us, which is a very pristine number, if you will. Yeah, I, I just, mini rant right there, just about how I find the college administration process to be a bit daunting and just overall hard to follow, and it, it's like they intentionally made this complicated to just get us to spend more money on, like, colleges and shit, because I cannot imagine anybody looking at a college registration site and being like, yeah, that looks about all right to me. Because they all, like, they, they never function properly. When both of the schools that I've looked at and applied to, like, before I, you know, went to college my first time, like, they were like, oh, yeah, this website's kind of jank and weird. It doesn't really make sense all the time. Then fix it. You own the fucking website. If so many kids complain about the site being complicated and they want to go to college, you're making it harder for them to even, like, you know, think about going or committing to going. Because I swear to God, like, last night, if I was in Desi's position... I would have just not gone to college. I would I would have given up right then and there. Now I'm I'm a pretty, you know, pessimistic dude in some cases. Like I I don't always have the most, you know, glass half full look on life. I'm I'm a bit twisted if you will. I'm a bit sick in the head if you will. Like the Joker even. We'll go into this shop. I don't see why not. And yo, Dreamcatcher is actually very desirable on this run. Because we are still early on. And we could get a planetarium out of skipping certain item rooms. And then maybe if we're feeling good and we, we're, we're good boys this year, go to Beast. Just a thought. Just a thought. But I, I, I personally, if I would have been in Desi's position yesterday, 
Uh, after also she she tried to email and call and text her counselor who uh, did not pick up. Which it was like 5 p.m. and I understand that you don't work constantly, but this is registration season. You know I I would be pretty attentive to my students if I was if I was him. But again I I can't speak for his life and his you know expectations. I, I know a lot of college is supposed to be self led and I'm supposed to hold your hand through it. And I I understand. I actually like that a lot because one of my pet peeves about high school. Uh, was the just rampant hand holding that happened there? Like if you if you wanted to drop a class, and like I, I told the story before a while ago, but I, I really wanted to get out of this program called Avid, which was like a a learning help program for kids who were like close to A B students, but needed that extra push to be straight A students, and I hated it. It was the most ridiculous program ever. It was like you know constant um, help. Uh, well yeah, it was constant help. It was constant like you know. Taking Cornell notes, uh, five for every class per week. Having a straight organized binder by average protocol. It was it was rough. It was a terrible program. And I wanted to leave it, but in order to leave that specific program, you had to have a meeting with your principal, school counselor, and your parents and school counselor. Like, three separate fucking meetings to leave this one program. And my parents would not agree to let me leave it, which might have been for the best. I honestly don't know. I That program was pretty awful. And then, um, so I said to myself, well, if they won't let me leave it, I'm just going to intentionally fail the class because they still have the, uh, no child left behind Michelle Obama policy for if a kid is failing a class, you have to try to help them to not fail the class because that's a pretty, like, big deal. So I thought to myself, well, if I intentionally try to fail the class and the only way I will ever try to pass it is to let me leave the program, they got their hands tied, right? And lo and behold, I intentionally failed the class. And to stop me from having a, an F in my report card, they said, okay, if you turn in all your work right now, we will let you pass the class and you can be out of the program. And it worked. I got out of the program that year. It was it was very uh, nice. <laughs> and even so, I will say, like, after I left that AVID program, my grades were better than they were ever before. What are you? The devil. I don't really need the devil card. I'll be real with you. So I, I made the right choice. I think I made the right choice there, but I just, the education system, like, it, I, this is going to be a really weird complaint. Not even a complaint, just like a weird thing to say. But I, re I, I respect teachers a lot, obviously. I wanted to be a teacher for a while. I think that they have some of the hardest jobs uh, you can possibly have. V100 and purity, huh? Is that skippable? Uh, purity is pretty good. Purity is actually pretty amazing. And D100 is great, and it's, that's a game break. Now, I could use D100 to go for, like, R keys and shit like that, but last run was two and a half hours long. I really do not want to be going for that again. And right now, our build is pretty fucking nice. Like, I will say, whatever the hell is going on with our Eden's Blessings and stuff like that, this build we have going on right here is amazing for a starting build. We have two... Well, we have three familiars now and box of friends, good damage. Like, I don't want to... Like ruin this for ourselves uh, but it's just like I, I respect teachers a lot to me like uh, being a teacher is one of the toughest things and most taxing jobs you can have in the modern day like not physically but mentally because you got to care for so many kids and a lot of the times high school boys especially are pretty apathetic dudes and they don't want to better themselves and it's hard to watch I can understand that for sure but and it is hard as well to make an entire education system appeal or I guess work for a wide variety because like the schools you know it's tons of kids there can be even a thousand kids per school per change and um to make one learning program work for all of them because everyone has different learning styles what the fuck that's a ridiculous ask you know like that that's hard to nail down because you can't make your specific learning you know class or whatever Woo! buy that for sure uh it's not gonna work for everybody and I understand how difficult that is as a teacher to have to adjust your lesson plans for every single kid that's there. But systematically, like, the education system is always going to be flawed because of that same reason. If we don't have the programs to let every kid learn the way that they learn best, you're going to have kids who think that they're stupid because they can't learn the way that another kid learns. It, it's a very, a very, you know, uh, defiant, I guess you could say, process. And I, I did find out. Why did I pop the luck down? Why, what brain? Like I did amazing. In, I don't want to say amazing. I did great in school. I had, I was like an A, B, occasional C student, um, and I got like a, 
decent score on my ACTs, like a 27, I think. And uh, I, I, I did fine, but there were those classes, especially when we got into the, the online learning of college, where I, I, I just, I, I struggled a little bit because I just didn't mesh with the online learning that well because I get distracted easily. I'm a, I, I can't focus on tasks when I have this, like, because most of the time when it comes to college work uh, online, I was doing it on this computer I'm playing games on right now. So when the, when the teacher is like, all right, class, you know, turn on your computers or whatever and go to this website and read this article. Do you expect me <laughs> as an 18 year old boy to read an article when on the same exact machine, I can play the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus <laughs> for hours on end? Like, no, no matter who I am, I'm not going to read that fucking article. I'm going to be too distracted. Okay, Purity gives us the Tears boost, which is a tear-breaking one. Very, very good for us. But, like, I'm, and I'm, again, I, that's my own fault, obviously. But and I think that this measles outbreak virus we have going on in our world right now, I think this virus uh, has kind of showed that more than I ever could about how the different learning, the different, different learning styles uh, do affect your quality of life and how you are able to learn material. Like, I have a, my little cousin, um... Not a dumb kid at all. Very smart kid, actually. Like he's, he surprises me with how smart like he can he can be and how he understands stuff like immediately. Uh, he is not doing the greatest in school, just because it's online learning, and that's rough, man. Like, imagine like if you're an eighth grader or like you're even like you're like a freshman, and you're doing like terrible in school, you're gonna think to yourself it's because I'm dumb, not because the online learning process is, is inherently flawed. You're going to think it's because you're dumb. Ah, Krampus. Oh my god, dude. There goes my tier bonus. Uh, one of the many reasons I do not like this character. And it's back. Great. I'm going to go for the tiers here. Because we can shoot even faster. And we'll move on. HP, I was waiting to pick those up because if our devil deal had a bunch of good stuff in it, I would have wanted to Gimpy or Adrenaline. Probably skip. And hope for Planetarium. Well, I don't know. Gimpy's good. And we're already kind of far into the run to be skipping again. So we're just going to go for Gimpy, I think. And we'll go Mausoleum as well for the fun of it. But imagine, like, looking, you know, at your grade versus your friend's grade and thinking, man, I'm an idiot because, like, I can't, like, I don't understand this material. Because you're learning online and it's, it's harder to adjust to. A lot of that stuff does not sink in. Like, there, there's a reason that, like, I, I never took notes in high school. I, I rarely ever took notes. But notes genuinely do help a lot when it comes to, like, retaining information. And when stuff is going super fast online and it's harder to raise your hand and ask a question or you have some, like, technical difficulties, it's really difficult to get through that. Um, and that will make younger kids think that they're stupid because they don't understand the material or they don't get why, you know, they don't get it. Like, even when I was in, you know, regular person, school, like, in-person um, material... And I didn't understand something. My first thought was, well, I'm an idiot. I'm fucking stupid. Like, all of my friends understand this shit. Why can't I? That same, like, line of thinking is is really rampant now because a lot more kids are feeling that same thing because they're in an online environment, which is just not good for them. And until we find a way to perfect the learning, you know, uh, what, what, like, what's the word for this? Institution, so that every single kid can get the education that fits best for them. There's always going to be that issue. Help. That was a very close dodge. Not over yet, though, boys. I see you. You can't hide from me. There's four of... There's three of you in here? What the fuck? That was crazy. Up there only two of you. And we'll take Gimpy here. Crawl space? Nah, nothing. Straight nothing. We get a speed bonus here. Ooh, baby. Are we two part? No, we're one part, Guppy. When I was a... Uh, a little kid. I wouldn't say little. When I was a kid playing this game, I thought that Cat of Ninetales was a guppy piece because it had the word cat in it. I did not understand what that was actually used for. <laughs> and now that I'm a, a dumb idiot adult, I now understand quite exactly what it's used for. Uh, but I was a bit of an idiot kid. I was. Uh, like I, I was school smart to a certain extent, but... Uh, a lot of my critical thinking skills and my, like, street smarts, you could say, didn't kick in until, like, freshman year. Because I, I had just, like, had not experienced... I mean, when you're a, an 8th grader, right? 
You haven't experienced shit. Like, the most you've experienced is, like, pre-algebra. Like, fourth period. You're not really doing a lot with your time. Oh, I... I bomb gagger? No. Where, this is dust. Oh, my God. You're up here? Well, now we're done. Very rough bomb to have right there. It's going to be a tough twins fight because Gideon cannot put you above him on the room. Okay. Tough twins. Here we come. This will be just decently easy, I think. That was one of my best bombs I've ever placed in this game. Ah, back up, dude. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? HP for sure here. HP. And we get a... Sp Where did that come from? Hinted rock, maybe? I don't know. Uh, you haven't seen... No, yeah, you've seen your shop. Move on. You, you're doing... Well, mausoleum, though. Oh, cracked orb. Right, half-priced Gahana slash mausoleum entrance. Very cool, very cool. But I, I had some... Oh, I skipped the... <laughs> Dreamcatcher, dude. Please stop making me forget that I have you. I... This guy's a big thumb. Holy shit. We're gonna put that thing, man. You're kind of freaking me out here. Uh, like when you're in eighth, when you when you're 13, you've barely experienced like anything. And even if you're an eighth grader right now watching this video and you think, I have I know a lot of stuff. I'm smarter than the average eighth grader. You are not. You thinking that you're smarter than the average eighth grader makes you dumber than the average eighth grader. That that is my honest opinion. Because oh fuck, these pills have been brutal this run. The second you start telling yourself that you are smarter than a certain group of people, or your peers, or people like that are like you. You are an idiot. Because you are not aware about uh, these other people's, you know, intelligence quotients. You don't know that kind of stuff. And you assuming you do makes you a, a bit of a, a more closed-minded individual. And I'm only telling you this because I was that same way. When I was in 8th grade and I, I was, you know, a bit on the smarter side for school, I thought, ma'am, I'm smarter than all of my peers. Which was not the case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can make this work. HP is a little bit scary right now, but... Being one part guppy, I, I'm okay with this, for sure. That could be really good for us, actually. And does that affect Dreamcatcher at all? I wonder. You... So if we can see what our devil items are going to be, we can always drop it before the floor actually starts with Dreamcatcher. That would be a big brain moment. What do you got for me in here? Oh, we can take both, right. Betrayal is exactly not what I wanted to see, but we can live with it, I guess. But I, I thought that I was a smart cookie when I was an 8th grader. And me thinking that probably stunted my, my mental growth for like a year. Because I had the whole, like, protagonist syndrome going on when I was a kid. Like, I definitely thought that I was, like, the protagonist of my school or some shit. Which is a really unhealthy mindset to have. But I think every 14-year-old feels that at some point. I don't want to be here. Because it, I've heard a lot of, like, of my friends say the same exact thing. Oh, I thought I was the protagonist of our friend group and shit like that. I've heard the same thing. So I think every kid just kind of feels that way, which... Whatever, like, you know. Kids, the people grow up the same way. A lot of people, I think, don't realize how similar uh, growing up is for everybody across the board. Like, I'm sure that when I when I talk on this episode or like one of these streaks, and I mention a very specific experience, somebody is always like, "Oh yeah, that happened to me too." Nothing that happens to us as kids is exceptionally rare or exciting. We all have the same archetype of, of a childhood, pretty much. Aside from like you know your your certain like. You can't change certain circumstances like your parents or your friend group or whatever. Those cannot be changed to a certain extent, but the general process of, of growing up, I think... This room, that is complete bullshit in my eyes. <laughs> what was I supposed to do there, man? What was I supposed to do? But I think everyone has the same general experiences happen to them. And that's really cool, actually. I like the idea that, like, we can grow up in separate parts of the world, in the country, or whatever you want to call it, and end up to be pretty similar or like-minded people. And it's got to be some kind of like, there's a whole argument of nurture versus nature. There definitely is uh, validation to both, what the fuck? The both nature and nurture as being big factors in how you grow up as a person. But I, I think that, uh, the combination of both nature and nurture 
is really what makes it happen. And either way, we all... That's really nice. We either all still become, like, pretty similar regardless. I mean, there are, what? Like, let's say on a good day, 4,000 of you guys who watch these videos and, and you know, like, 50 of you guys who comment... Nah, not even. Like, like 30 of you guys who comment, you know, occasionally. Which, that we should get that number up for this year, huh? What do you say? Get some more comments going on, please. It helps my channel grow more. Shameless plug. Um, oh, no. You gotta kill her fast, dog. It's not going to be the most fun fight for you to manage. Go. No, no. There we go. Beautiful. Booster. Oh, well, wait. What? How expensive is this going to be? Holy shit. Uh. No. That settles that. That's even more damage for us. And I'm going to still go booster pack for the Hierophant drop. Watch this. Okay, it did not happen. Hermit. Tower. Okay, the, the tower card, that could be Soul Hearts back for us. Let's test this out in this room. Is there a better room? I don't really vibe with this room right here. What's this one? Uh, this, is, this is actually pretty open. You know what? Okay, one Tinty. There's our Binky uh, thing right there. Another Tinty. Hey, let's not do that. Uh, nothing there. Ooh, double Tinty right here. Dude, that was insane for us. Praise be, baby. Praise be. And another black card. That You gotta love the fucking <laughs> booster pack drops. They're so good. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, nature versus nurture. Like, everybody knows that both contribute, but I don't think that one is more important than the other, to be honest. I think if I had to choose... One that was more important. Um, pop that. Cool. Huge growth. Hard to choose here. You can walk in here. Get just three cents, which is not that bad at all. Walk back. Uh, we have no pedestal items, so let's just take it. Let's take the reverse hermit. Because if we want to get money for a shop next floor, we now have said money. And down you go. Like, if I had to choose one, I think that your nurture... Your nurture is more important. Oh, I stop skipping the cutscene. I guess it doesn't matter. We have Devil's Crown. It's going to be different anyways either way, I feel like. Um, I think nurture is definitely, like, on the more important side. Because if nature was the most important thing we'd all be the same, right? Like, I know nature is genetics and stuff like that and predisposition to, like, you know, illnesses and other things in that same vein. Uh, but personally, like, all of us have different... Like, for example, I have a thing called Eros Deimos, which makes my skin real stretchy and it makes my, uh, like, likelihood of having, you know, mental illness a little bit higher, which I don't know. I've never gotten to a, a, a therapist or anything like that. I don't know. I don't really care to find out either. Um, it just, it, it makes me more just predisposed to uh, other illnesses and like, um, like osteoporosis and shit like that, right? Uh, just because I have Eros Deimos does not define my characteristic. What defines me is how I was, uh, you know, raised and the friends that I made and the things around me that kind of contributed to how, like, who I am as a person. Uh, I'll take it. We're gonna need the red hearts for for this floor's um, devil item room we got going on. So, like in that regard, I, while well, sure, having certain genes and diseases and illnesses and, and and you know even some like positive things you can have out of genetics, like all of those things, they can define you to a certain extent. Sure, I'm not gonna argue that they definitely can have an effect on you. But on the other hand, like most of the time. In my very sheltered view of the world, uh, I feel like you are more likely to be defined by who you are when you were like when you were raised and stuff like that than whatever genetics you had that disposed you to whatever you have. Like that, that's just my personal opinion. Because it's not just diseases and stuff like that. It's also your height, your 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 weight, your BMI can be affected by your genetics and stuff like that. And, that can affect your social, you know, perception, people's perception of you as a person. That can affect that a lot, uh, perception-wise. But the way you react to that and deal with that, I think, can change the results of that drastically, making it more of a nurture argument.
per se. Watch this play though. Not a great trinket. We'll buy that. And we get all of our money back. We'll buy this as well. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And we got a nothing out of that. <laughs> we got the habit, which is good for getting hit in boss fights and then getting our charge back. Sure. Definitely. Uh, but we don't really need it. I guess we have a lot of self-damaging base things. We have Vengeful Spirit and Habit now, which are going to be really, really nice. Uh, good. And, oh, wait. I know the trick on this one. Fade it out. Pull it over here. Get in there. Beautiful dodging. Love to see it. But I think that nurture is is the more important thing. Okay. Interesting. Oh, now we have a, a dilemma on our hands here again. Now we kind of want to have one red heart because that's the, the Dark Prince's crown boost, I think, is a little bit better. It's, it's a higher tier rate than the, uh, the Hora Babylon. It's the best item to have is Eve. Ah, man. I guess now we have a benefit from having a red heart and not having a red heart. So, that it's actually it's a good, it's good coverage for sure. Definitely good coverage for us. Let's hope we can get some kind of heart drop uh, before this this deal might be pretty influential if we get it here. All right, here you go. Dude, we actually do so much damage. Holy shit. More than I thought we would be doing. I guess we have three Incubi and a bunch of buddy in a box out here too. Oh, what the fuck? You're alive? Die. We did get this deal. I'm gonna go Polaroid. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, you already know what I'm going to be doing. Like, you guys have an idea. Okay. You move on. Uh, we have more options with damage, which is great. Great, great, great. A little bit late to truly get this here, but I think it'll be okay. Just try your best to not get hit. Does this work with uh, Claw Machine? Damocles? Please? I asked nicely, though. You can't deny me this. I guess you technically can. Oh, man. Oh, man. I do want to get some Damocles action going on here. Why are you so quick? You are blue, not yellow. Why the hell were you so fucking fast? Why are all of you so fast? What is happening? Do I have... Oh, I must have magnet tears on my buddy in a box. That is a horror sentence when you have... Well. Better hope Guppy's Collar procs this run. Magnet tears are making this a bit of a difficult process. We gotta go a little bit quicker now. It's a speed run, boys. It's a... Oh, great. Uh, nice going fast you have going... Fucking... Buddy in a box is so goddamn good. But when it gives you a bad effect... Oh, that effect will ruin your day. Like, look at how close this guy gets dragged to me occasionally. We're, we're conjoined at least. And we have Dark Prince's Crown for higher tier rate. Okay. Oh, we have two Incubi. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. That was actually really good for us. We got to go a little bit quicker though still. We're, we're taking a while here. And if Guppy's Collar does not proc, Damocles pickup was for naught. That almost rhymed. That almost rhymed. But I, I will say I'm more of a nurture guy. I've said it before in this video. I'll say it again. I'm more of a nurture guy. Nature plays a part for sure in predisposition, but I think how you deal with that is on the nurture side, and that is more of a accurate perception of, of the human mind and you, personally. Personally. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, we lose the... Well, we keep the bonus. It counter having a heart container, huh? But not for Horror Babylon. Interesting. Very, very weird synergy we have going on with that right now. The best thing here, though... Is we get to skip the womb one boss fight and instantly just destroy uh, everything in this room. Doubt. Okay. Uh, go fast. Your Damocles could drop at any moment. It might have just dropped there, and I might have just frame buffered that because it was out of sync with my character model. No, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Even if Damocles does drop, though, we're gonna be at half a heart with Guppy's collar. Well, we have a great build. Half a heart is never a place you want to be. I've noticed myself more and more 
uh, being at lower HP as we enter the cathedral every single run here, minus yesterday's run, obviously. And that is not a good thought because we have almost lost the run to Isaac multiple runs recently uh with the the dark esau pulls or the Tana jacob pulls you've been getting on our character randomizations uh, it, it's been it's been a a long grueling help, and uh difficult process in these last few random runs but i believe uh we are shaping up to get better at this game still oh this is the wrong direction you're looking me in the eye and saying this is the wrong fucking direction are you for real? How does the wrong direction go this far out? Damocles, on average, drops around 15 minutes after you pick it up and get hit. What? The hell? It goes so far, though. I was almost like sure we'd pick the right direction there. Uh, but I guess not. May have to start bombing. Why brown ghost? Since when? Uh, may have to start bombing through rooms here just to keep ourselves at a healthy pace for Damocles. Because as it stands, we've been not picking good directions either. That's part of the reason I think our, our, our whole entire, like, uh, runs have been having less HP as we move to this floor because I've been bantering so much that I haven't been focusing on how I'm playing the game. Aside from game breaks, of course, my favorite thing. And, uh, besides that, I gotta get in there, though. I gotta get in there, though. Besides that, um, the wrong direction makes us play more of the floor, and usually not in a good way. All right. Get your tears out there. Gotta love that conjoined action. Okay. No Damocles drop during the Isaac fight, please. This is the one that I'm most concerned about. Come on. You're wasting everybody's time right now. We're gonna get a whole lot of items next floor. With Damocles in the chests. So, praise be. That's really good for Conjoined. Actually, it's insane. Damage reduction and better bombs. All right. Oh, my God. We can shoot normally. Our knockback is a little bit insane because it's still taking the hitbox, uh, like, angle from our Incubi. But, um, dude, great. And if we pop our box of friends, we're going to have a lot of HP. This is going to be insane. Would I do Delirium? If Damocles falls and I respawn, yes. If it doesn't fall, I'm not going to do Delirium. If we even get the option to, that is. I've been not getting my portals recently. It's been kind of pissing me off. Baby, doesn't, baby wants his fucking portals, man. Baby wants his portals. Keep going. We're going to have a killer uh, box of friends pop coming up here. Woo! Only one of those got doubled? Lame as hell. Lame as hell. Oh, we, we crushed that guy. I gotta go... F Dude, why am I choosing every wrong direction? I could die at any moment. You gotta stop with this shit. I, I choose the paths that have, like, trust, and then they just betray that. I don't trust anybody anymore. God, we're so good. This build is just... It's just too good. It's just too good. HP's back in a comfortable spot. Sci-fly means I really want to do Delirium now. Like, really, really want to do Delirium. If we get the portal, maybe I will just go send it. Ow. That hurt. Thank you. Oh, no. Okay. Help. <laughs> can't be to the right. It's got to be to... It has to be to the right. It can't be to the left. Go, go, go. It didn't drop for a whole hour last time, which is which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Able to have that same luck transpiring here. God, this run is fucking busted. Teleporter conjoined, like, with double incubi. It's like six tiers per shot. And we also have the purity bonus for damage, I think. Not even tiers right now. All right. No portal. Three sci flies ended off. Very fast run for us today. A nice cooldown from my two and a half hour run from a couple, you know, well, half an hour ago. If you enjoyed, a like and a sub goes a long way for a smaller channel like mine. In the meantime, guys, though, I have been BD1P. Peace out and goodbye.